Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I want to show you razor editing with left drag in Reaper. Now the purpose of this video is to show you a few other ways of using razor editing. Now a quick review to use this feature to just select certain areas in the arrange view. On PC, hold on Alt, and on Mac, hold on Option, and just right click, drag, like this. And that creates a razor edit that we can edit as its own section. We can delete it, we can cut it, we can move it, we can duplicate it, or copy and paste it, or just about anything we want. But one of the things you might not like about it is having to hold down modifiers and use right click drag. I know for me personally, I'm using a trackpad on a laptop or even my desktop computer. Doing right drag is a little bit slower than left drag, but left drag is going to move our items for dragging them. But we could change the default behavior pretty easily. Let me show you a few options. Let's go to our preferences, go to the options menu, and go down here to preferences. Then scroll down to mouse modifiers and find the context arrange view. Under the right drag context, and we can see right over here, we can create razor edits by holding down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and right click dragging. But if you use this feature a lot and you don't want to hold down a modifier, we could choose the option right here, which is going to swap the marquee selecting items with creating razor edits. So if we hit this, it swaps the two mouse modifiers. So now we can create razor edits just by right click dragging like this and create multiple ones by holding down shift like this. But like I said, we still have to right drag to do this. And for certain people, it's a little bit harder to right drag than to left drag. And for you, there's a few other options. Let's go back to our mouse modifiers. Let's swap this back to the default. And let's switch the context to media item on the left drag. And we can see by default, if we left drag our items, it's going to move our items, ignoring time selection. Like I mentioned before, we can just grab our items and move them like this. But that's a behavior you probably want to keep. So instead of changing this one, we could change any of these other ones we don't use as often. Like for me, I very rarely use this option. Hold on Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac. So we could change it down here to create a razor edit area. Just create. And now we could hold down Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just left drag to create a razor edit. And if we want to create multiple ones, we can go over here to add Shift to Alt or Option. Again, it's a behavior I don't use as often. And change this to create razor edits, but add them to the selection. So now we can create a razor edit, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and left drag, add Shift to the equation. So on PC, it's Alt Shift, and on Mac, it's Option Shift, and just left drag to create multiple razor edits, which for me and my system is a lot quicker than right click dragging. But again, it's a personal preference. But if you don't like to hold down modifiers, let's put this back to the default. We could also use a different context. Instead of using media item, we could use media item bottom half. 
And by default, it's unused, but it can really be very handy. Let's change the default to create a razor edit and the shift to add to the selection. So now, if we left drag at the top of our items, we can grab and move them. But if we go to the bottom half, it's going to create a razor edit very easily without a modifier and without right click dragging. Just grab the bottom half of the media items while the top half still behaves the same. And just to be clear, I'm not saying the defaults were set up wrong. They make a lot of sense for most situations. But if you personally prefer to use razor editing a lot more, you might prefer to use it with left drag. So that's pretty much it. That's razor editing with left drag in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!